As many of you know, I've been a serious student of Bible and the prophecy for many years. I, have, I like many others, am deeply concerned about what's happening uh, to our country and in our government and in the world. It is November 17th. There's been a lot in the news about the political elections, and many have asked me, Kent, who are you endorsing for president? And so after careful consideration of the qualifications of all of the candidates running, after much prayer and fasting over this history-making decision that will affect my family and your family and everyone's family for many years to come, I've decided to announce here tonight on this program who I will be endorsing for president. I think this decision is so important that I even took time to cover up part of my timeline chart that I use, and I'm going to use a PowerPoint presentation and give you 14 reasons for why I've made this pr uh, prediction. I think many will say to me at first, Kent, I don't believe it. You have gone crazy. You are what has happened to you. But after you listen to my reasons, I think many will come around and say, that's brilliant. That is exactly what we ought to do. Why didn't I think of that? I must give all the glory to God for his unsearchable wisdom and foresight in leading me to this decision and this announcement tonight. I predict that many will agree with my decision uh, the, to suggestion that I will give you at the end of this 14 reasons of what I think ought to be done. Um, I think, well, I'll, I'll surprise you with that one. So without any further ado, here are my reasons for making this endorsement. I, effective tonight, November 17, 2015, endorse Hillary Clinton for president of Antarctica. Here are my reasons. Dim the lights there, please, brother. Millions are asking, who is Kent Hovind endorsing as president? Well, Hillary Clinton. Reason number one, Antarctica does not have a president at all, and she would get all the admiration she seems to constantly be seeking. Reason number two, they don't even have a primary, so she is sure to get the nomination. Reason number three, <clears throat> she thinks she's hot stuff, and that place would quickly show her she is not. Reason number four. Penguins see everything in black and white and will not be fooled by her lies and half-truths. Reason number five, it is way outside of the United States. It's a shame there isn't a place a little further, but hey, it's the best we've got. Reason number six, in that great empty continent, she'll feel right at home with her empty promises. Reason number seven, her husband Bill never visits her anyway, so he will, she will not notice, uh, he will not notice that she is gone for you know, quite a while, probably. Reason number eight, the place is extremely windy already, and one more windbag down there won't hurt the environment at all. Reason number nine, <clears throat> she will not have email access for anyone to hack. Penguins do not have internet access and will not attempt to hack into her email anyway. Reason number ten, there are no elections to rig down in Antarctica. Reason number eleven, penguins cannot spell Benghazi and they won't care. It is a non-issue down there. It can all be forgotten finally as she has been trying to get to happen around here in America. Reason number 12. All of her Democrat slash socialist slash communist ideologies need to be put on ice anyway and there is lots of ice in Antarctica. Reason number 13. The bitter cold, creature, bitter, bitter, the bitter cold <laughs> creates not only numb fingers but numb skulls. So she can get elected over and over while she is down there. And reason number 14, she will never have to face criminal charges outside the United States. Oh, she's not going to face criminal charges here anyway, so nothing, nothing to worry about. Never mind, that number 14, we can take that one off. Anyway, there are, here are some reasons that I just gave you. I'm sure some of you can think of more of why I highly recommend her for president of Antarctica. Now, here is my suggestion. I think we should not even wait until November 2016. I think we should have the election next week or even today. Send her down there right away. Ticker tape parade the whole thing. Hillary Clinton for president of Antarctica is my absolute recommendation. We are here. It is here for you folks who went to public school and did not learn your geography. More later in the next broadcast. Thanks for joining us.